I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to too. <laughs> Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Ah, that was the great Mitch Hedberg on our 420 Funny. Sadly, Mitch is no longer with us, but his ability to find the ridiculous and make sense out of it lives on. As you know, we are unofficially brought to you by a craft beer and herb pairing on every episode, and it's still part of Bridgeport Week. So, on this episode, we're going to feature the strain of Bridgeport Stumptown IPA and Sour Diesel. Sour Diesel is, well kind of sour in flavor and aromas. It pairs well with the Stumptown IPA that has a sweet, almost fruit rind flavor. Take a sip and let the uplifting nature of the Sour D usher you to solving calculus equations that contain differential equations. Dipping into Mary Jane's mailbox, we find a letter from Snake Charmer. Have you ever uh, seen Zach Galifianakis' impression of a gay snake? Anyway, Snake Charmer asks, does the strain cheese really smell like cheese? Kinda. I mean, there's a lot of strains out there that try to describe either the flavor or the aroma in the title. They get close, but there's always a dank undertitle kind of in that whole mix. Now, at least they're a little bit better descriptors than Alaskan Thunder or Satan's Frosty Bits. On two cents, 20 seconds, I give you my two cents in 20 seconds. Today's topic, munchies, ready? Go. Okay, well, the two pillars of the munchies are salt and sugar. So yeah, nachos or cheesecake. But if you want to get the best of both worlds, you got to get one product and I'm going to imitate my old guitar player from my band in college. Daddy buddy. Queeber. Finally, let's enter the hallowed high halls of Herb University and get a 30 second lecture about our featured strain, Sour D. Once again, it's Sydney84 here reviewing a legend for UrbAdvisors.com. That's right, people, it's Sour D. Largely considered to be one of the kings of sativas, Sour Diesel is dreamy but deep. So pop on an old Rush album, clean your apartment, and solve the unified field theory all at the same time. Careful, it's pungent and skunky, so keep this bad boy out of your glove compartment and backpack. However, it's a great daytime strain, and if you're feeling stressed or depressed, Sour D may just be your ticket. Try Sour D for yourself, and after you get done giggling, post your review in the comment section below. That's right, become an advisor on urbadvisors.com. That's it for this episode of Marijuana for the Mainstream. Please like us on all the social media channels. Share, share, and share a like, and then share a not a like. Don't forget to subscribe and email me at info at urbadvisors.com with your jokes, rants, questions, and suggestions. And do enjoy this video now about cannabis law. <laughs>